Welcome back to Wealthy Mentor Trading, guys. Today is October the 24th, 2021. Today, I'm going to be looking at the S&P 500 and its bull moves to all-time highs last week. I'm also going to have six names on my radar going into next week. Names like AMD, which is reporting earnings on Tuesday. Microsoft is also reporting earnings. Apple, Amazon, Tesla, strong move above that $900 mark. Netflix creating all-time highs. Those are six stocks that are on my radar that I'm going to speak about today. But before we get started, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Also, leave a comment in the comment section if you do want a name reviewed for next week. And if you are interested in trading with us at Wealthy Mentor Trading, click the link in the description. That should take you to the checkout page, and it will give you everything that the group entails. A wonderful group. We offer swing trading, day trading, options callouts, daily market analysis, you're never uh, going to miss anything uh, going into the week when you're part of the group. <clears throat> With that being said, we do have the S&P 500 chart open here. And as you guys can see here on Monday, my key level to hold was that 4450 mark. And we did wick down and buyers did step in, pushing it all the way up to 4560, which is all time highs before closing Friday session, still bullish just underneath that 4550 area. Now, going into next week on strong earnings on a lot of tech names, I do want to see a break above this 4560 area. And my first confirmation would be 4550. So if this were to break, that's your heads up. And your entry point would be that 4560 area. I have overhead targets of 4580 and 4600 psychological. Overall, if we do see a push on those big tech names, uh, names like Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and AMD, all those names could definitely push the market all the way out 4,600 psychological area. Now to the downside, I do have strong support here at that 4,520. And you guys can see from last week, we did not go beneath that. So I do have that as my support area. Now, if that were to break, I do have 4,500 as my first take profit target on a short from 4,520 down to 4,500 on market weakness. We also have a little small gap here that we did create on Monday, right? So 44.80 would be second area that you'd want to take profit at if you do see continued market weakness below that $4,500 line. Overall, I am bullish on the markets. And as you guys can see here, the trend is your friend right now. And you know, you know, don't stop in front of a moving train. If you see the market moving up, you go with it. Until you see weakness, then you reevaluate your position. So for right now, I do want to see a break above that 4560 area. All right. So. First name that I want to talk about that is reporting earnings on Tuesday is AMD. Now, here is AMD on the 30-minute chart. And we do have all-time highs here at that 122.50 area where we just were short back on October the 22nd last week, right? Going into next week, I do want to see a break above 122.50 for take profits of 125. And I do also have secondary profits here at that 128 mark, right here right? Overall, I am bullish on AMD. Uh, much of this move was due to NVIDIA's uh, news that it unveiled a new high-end cloud video gaming stream that will be powered by AMD's central processing unit. So that was bullish. Usually when you see AMD move up like that and have bullish news, it relates to AMD as well, just because they are both in the semiconductor sector. So definitely keep your eyes on AMD going into next week as they are reporting earnings on Tuesday. An earnings push, an earnings win. It's definitely a 122.50 break above. So I'm looking at that area to break on an earnings win. Now, if we do bomb on earnings, we do have some support here at that 115 area and that 112 area where we did see some consolidation before we broke out last week. Overall, I am bullish on AMD, right? And I'm going to switch over here to the daily time frame to give you guys an outlook of exactly how the chart looks, right? We did have all time highs right here, not too long ago, I would say it was back on August, right? The first week of August, we did hit 122 and a half, right? Here we are testing that 122 and a half again. Now on an earnings beat, I definitely want to see that break for potential take profits at 125 and 128. Now to the downside, as I mentioned, 115 and 112 are areas of support for me, especially 112 as we were into the zone underneath 112 ever since the drop on August the 9th. And finally, we broke out last week above that 112 area with a nice bull move all the way to the all-time highs retest. 
So I'll definitely be watching AMD going into next week. Uh, like I said, 122.50 is that area for me for entries. Another name that I am bullish on is Microsoft. MSFT is the ticker. And you guys can see here on a daily time frame, we have been creating crazy moves up ever since that push from that 280 area, right? We held 280 as support, and now we see ourselves at that 310 closing Friday session bullish, creating all-time highs. I definitely want to see a break above 310 for take profits of 313 and 316. I also have a third bullish profit area at that 320 mark. Overall, I am bullish on Microsoft just because they do have that new Windows 11 as a catalyst. Uh, that's their new operating system. So it's definitely one of those things that can definitely push Microsoft above that 310 area where we closed off on Friday. Now, let's just say, for example, we don't do well on earnings and we do we get a bomb, right? We do have that support area at that 280 mark where we launched off from back on October the 1st. So I'm definitely looking for 280 to hold. And if that doesn't hold, I have positions of 274 and 270 as next key supports. And those are take profit areas if you are um, buying puts uh, below that 280 area. As I mentioned, I do want to see 310 break for that earnings win on Microsoft. Okay, so keep that in mind, and they are reporting on Thursday. Uh, another name that did receive a nice push, and that was mostly because of the market, right? Apple, AAPL is the tip, ticker. And you guys know, and as I mentioned before, Apple does tend to move with the markets, right? So we did have a nice move here on the daily time frame above that 138.50 area, and we've held that ever since. October the 5th. So we did have a push this week all the way to that 150 mark. And that was due to the S&P 500 making all time highs and testing that area. So on an earnings beat, I definitely want to see a break above 150 for a potential retest at all time highs of 157. Now they are reporting on Thursday. And fundamentally, Apple has been facing supply chain issues along with a possible cutting its iPhone 13 production targets. So, you know, there's a lot of bearish information out there. So if we do receive an earning bomb, I'm definitely looking at that 144 area as key support. We did have a hard time breaking it here on September the 28th. We have multiple rejections here on the daily time frame. One rejection, two, three, four, five, six times rejected be finally before finally breaking out last week. And like I said, that was due to the market really pushing up. So, of course, I do want to see Apple above that 150 area on an earnings beat. Now on an earnings bomb, 144 is that area for me. If that does get purged, I have shorts down to 142 and 140 as my two take profit areas. As you guys can see here, we did hold that 140 to 138 area. So if we do see some weakness, look for 144 to break all the way to that 140 to 138 and a half. Okay. Overall, I am neutral on Apple. I do want to see 150 break, and that has been a tough you know, resistance line. Look back here on August. We had a hard time breaking it here, hard time breaking it here on August the 24th. We finally had a huge bull move here on August the 30th, 30th pushing up all the way to all-time highs at 157. But ever since then, you know, we've had a hard time breaking that 150 area. So definitely look for 150 to break on an earnings beat. Another name that is important that is reporting earnings on Thursday, and that is Amazon. Now, Amazon is part of our large cap swing trading names. And what I'm looking on Amazon here, I am going to switch over here. Actually, I'm just going to leave it here on the daily time frame to give you guys exactly what I'm looking at. So for me, I am looking at that 3,500 mark. We had a hard time breaking it here. We did wick up all the way to 3550. So anywhere from 3500 to 3550 is an area. If we do break past that, I am bullish, right? If we do break past 3550, we can definitely see on an earnings beat test that all time highs at 37 and a half, right? Now on an earnings fail, you know, I do want to see 3300 hold. If that does not hold, we'll likely test that 3180 mark where we hit it twice, actually three times. One here on June the 7th, once more here on August the 20th, 
and once more here on October the 4th, right? So we have triple hits right here on that support line at 3180. So if we do see 3300 break, you're definitely going to see that 3180 hold once more on an earnings fail. But overall, 3500 is an area where you definitely want to look at to see if we are creating that different trend change, which you want to see. 3500 is the first confirmation and 3550 would be a second confirmation. So look for those two targets to get purged. Now, if they do, 3600 is your first take profit target and 3650 is your second take profit target. But as you guys know, Amazon, when it beats earnings, it beats it by a mile. So we can definitely see it testing that 37 and a half area on an earnings beat. Okay, so keep that in mind. Also, fundamentally speaking, Amazon debuts its new service allowing customers to purchase and pick up products from local supplier, suppliers. So that is bullish. So look for that as well as a key catalyst going into earnings. So they are reporting on Thursday. Uh, another name had a great week and it was one of our names that I was watching last week, right? Here it is, and that's Tesla. I'm gonna switch over here to the 30 minute time frame, okay? And going into last week, what I said I was looking at was that 850 to 860 area, right? We opened up on Monday, crushing past that 860 area, hitting targets of 880, right? Going back down to retest support, Holding that 850 area was key for me. And as you guys can see on Thursday, huge bull move, right? Here's the flagpole and here's the flag itself. And here's the breakout of the flag pattern right here, the bull flag, all the way to pass that $900 mark, that psychological $900 mark, breaking all time highs, hitting 910. And we did close Friday bullish as well, just at that resistance point. So going into next week, I am looking for a break of that $900 mark for potential take profits of 930, no, sorry, 920 and 930 as my two take profit targets. Overall, I am really bullish on Tesla and we do have a slew of market analysts upgrading the stock, especially Deutsche Bank. They gave it a $1,000 price target. So, you know, follow where the big money's going, right? They're definitely saying that it's a $1,000 price target. So keep your eyes on Tesla going into next week. 910 is an area for you to look at. Now, if we do have an off week, right? Let's just say earnings bomb on a bunch of names and the S&P 500 goes down. Definitely Tesla is going to get affected by that, right? So you're going to look at that $890 area where we did consolidate here before breaking out of the bull flag. So that is a key area for support for me. If 890 does break, look for take profit targets of 880, right? Previous resistance now turns to support. Definitely look for 880 as your first take profit target. I am looking at a bounce at that 880 mark, hypothetically, if we go down for a potential retest of 910. So guys, if you are shorting, make your shorts quick and take profits on those scalp trades to the downside because this thing is a rocket right now and it's creating all-time highs. And if you guys know with Tesla, it has dramatic price swings. So keep that in mind if you are shorting Tesla. I would recommend against it, but if you are 8 90 is a support area. And if it does break, 880, 870 are two targets for you to short at. Okay. That is Tesla. And I am bullish on Tesla, guys. Another name, Netflix, NFLX, killed it last week. All right. I was looking for a break above that 640 area. As you guys can see, we've been consolidating on Netflix for quite a while this month. And we finally broke out with some bull volume. They killed it on earnings. So 640 was an area to look at. 650 was a take profit area. We swiftly hit that and volume kept on coming in before we hit all time highs at 666. Going into next week, 666 to 670 is an area that I want to see break, right? And if it does break 670, I am looking at take profit targets of 680 and 690 to the upside. Overall, they did have a strong earnings and that doesn't even come into account that they didn't qualify for the whole squid games, right? That was a positive callus and that wasn't even part of the earnings that's going into next week, next quarter earnings. So apparently they have made over $900 million for Netflix, that squid games. So that's really bullish. And I could definitely see Netflix pushing towards the end of the year towards that $700 area. So 
a lot of positive news coming out for Netflix. And it's one of those names, like I said, with Microsoft at all time highs, Netflix at all time highs, Tesla at all time highs, you know, keep those names on your radar because they are creating all time highs and they also been upgraded by analysts with large price targets and Netflix is one of them. Now to the downside, 650 is an area for me. If that does break, I am shorting down to 640 where obviously guys, we had crazy resistance here. So as you guys have been telling you, resistance now turns to support, right? 650 breaks, you want to short down to 640 and take profits much like Tesla. It is a strong name and it is in a bull formation. So if you are shorting, make those shorts as scalp trades at best and get out. And if we do see a break below 640, we can definitely see 630 being retested as well. Okay. That is Netflix on the 30 minute time frame in my overview going into next week. And those are six stocks on my radar for next week, guys. And to give you guys a quick recap, AMD is reporting earnings on Tuesday. As I said, 122.50 is your best friend. You want to see a break above that. And not just that, you do want to see AMD and NVIDIA is also at that 230 mark, right? There are all-time highs. So if you see bullish moves by NVIDIA, you're going to see bullish moves by AMD and vice versa. Keep that in mind. Microsoft reporting on earnings on Thursday. They're at all-time highs. They're rolling out their new Windows 11 operating system. Can't get more bullish than that. Keep that on your radar. Apple, 150 is an area of resistance. So, you know, with the whole supply chain issue, we might not get past that. So definitely look for 150 on an Apple earnings beat. Now, the next one, Amazon reporting earnings on Thursday. That 3,500 to 3,550 area is a key area for me. If we get past that, you know, that's your earnings beat. Look for retests of all-time highs. Tesla, crazy bull move, bull move last week, closing just below that 910 resistance, creating all-time highs. What can I say? Continue looking at Tesla on a break of 910. And Netflix, as I mentioned here, your key area to look at is that 666 to 670 area for your entry point. So, you know, there are all-time highs. Keep that name on your radar. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for all the support. Last video killed it. And we had the most amount of views uh, at the channel for the first time. And I have nothing but great things to say about everyone and all the help and support. Continue, please, liking the videos, sharing with your friends. And if you are interested in trading with us at Wealthy Mentor Trading, $49.95 is the special promo that we have this month. The link is in the description. And you know, guys, what to do. If you guys need any help, hit me up on IG at Wealthy Mentor Trading, and I can get you sorted out. Thank you so much, and good luck trading, guys.